A pulmonary embolism is a sudden blockage of an artery in the lungs. It is caused by a blood clot that travels from other parts of the body, such as the leg, into the lungs. If not removed or dissolved, a pulmonary embolism can cause lung damage or death. The diaphragm is a parachute-shaped muscle that separates the chest cavity from the abdomen, and it serves as the main muscle of respiration. This is a sample x-ray of a right, elevated hemidiaphragm. As you can see, the diverticulum pouch is retaining the swallowed food. Now the food begins moving back up the esophagus. After drinking fluids, it empties the diverticulum. The patient's G-tube was inserted into the wrong side of the stomach. The patient's perforated bowel spilled bacteria from his intestines into his abdominal cavity, leading to a life-threatening infection called sepsis. This is a severe illness in which the bloodstream is overwhelmed by bacteria, producing a powerful toxin. It has a morbidity rate of 35%. A chest tube insertion involves the surgical placement of a hollow, flexible drainage tube into the chest. Chest tubes are inserted to drain blood, fluid, or air, to allow the lungs to fully expand. A tracheotomy consists of making an incision on the anterior aspect of the neck and opening a direct airway through an incision in the trachea. A tracheotomy tube will be inserted. This tube allows a person to breathe without the use of their nose or mouth. A tracheotomy also allows the patient to use a ventilator.
N I V I A G I V E U P Never give up. Never give up.